at 6, a South Carolina businessman who pled guilty to corruption testified that DeKalb Commissioner Stan Watson was one of several DeKalb officials who attended a meeting. That meeting is part of a South Carolina corruption trial. Channel 2's investigative reporter Richard Belcher says Watson and the other unnamed officials are not charged in this South Carolina case. Richard? Yeah, we want to emphasize no charges against DeKalb officials, but according to the indictment in this federal case, there was an agreement to pay a, quote, kickback to an elected official from DeKalb County, Georgia. According to testimony today, Commissioner Watson was part of a restaurant meeting that included discussions of illegal payoffs. Commissioner Watson didn't want to talk about the case when Channel 2's Jody Fleischer confronted him in April. Do you know which case I'm referring to? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Okay. How did you become aware of the case? He told me about it. Who told Mr. You? Robinson. What did he tell you about it? Uh, just that he had some problems in South Carolina. That's all I know. Watson's talking about his friend Eric Robinson, a businessman indicted in a federal corruption case with Jonathan Pinson. The 47-count indictment includes racketeering, theft, and bribery. Two counts outline a scheme to pay a purported kickback to an elected official in DeKalb County, Georgia. And you know that it talks about solicitation of a bribe by a DeKalb County commissioner in that case. No, I didn't know that. That's not me. I hope not. The case alleges bribes would have been paid by Florida developer Rick Zahn, who's already pleaded guilty to a different charge. In two wiretapped phone calls, prosecutors say Pinson and Robinson discussed inflating the dollar amount and pocketing some for themselves. We've gone through a really tough space uh, here in DeKalb County, and honestly, the public's trust has been eroded. Ever done business with Eric Robinson or Jonathan Pinson? No, I have not. Have you tried to do business with no, him? No, I have not. And you have no connection to that South Carolina case whatsoever? None whatsoever. We have now confirmed that Commissioner Stan Watson's name does appear on the witness list for the South Carolina trial, as does the name of suspended DeKalb County Purchasing Director Kelvin Walton. We're live in the newsroom, Richard Belcher, Channel 2 Action News.